dentist wrong. There is no such thing as too much candy, all right? And she is acting on the shy. She's singing with Escape. She's producing The Wiz on Broadway. All right, yes, she is. And somehow, she made time to come and celebrate my birthday with me. Would you give it up for my friend, Candy Burns? from my birthday, but I can hear buzzing. And I can hear buzzing in the basket. Yes, girl, I got it ready for you. What is it in this, in this gift basket? Uh, well, you know, I got some candy-coated cosmetics, but I got some bedroom candy. Oh, you got the bedroom candy! <laughs> you got the bedroom candy? I'm gonna leave Brought it right here in my candy. lap, right here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. you know what, and thank you so much for my birthday gift, but I want to give you your flowers because I saw you opening night. I love The Wiz. I oh, love The Wiz. Thank you. The Wiz, this is you, me, this is Jordan Cooper. Like, when I tell you, it brought back so much memories, and I know that this is your baby, you are producing it. How did you feel introducing The Wiz to the world? Oh my gosh, okay, opening night was amazing. Yes. I'm so glad you made time to come, Thank I was you. so excited. It was so many wonderful people in the building, but just to see, you know, cause we've been working on this for a minute, we toured it, and now it's finally up on Broadway, and it's just, I know. And when she says, when Candy says she toured it, that her and her husband Todd were out there at all of the performances going, you know, y'all were everywhere. Yeah, we so. were going to city to city, telling, <laughs> making sure people know about it, because that's the most important thing. You can have the best thing ever, but if nobody knows, then it doesn't happen. So exactly. I'm so thankful for people like you, Sherry, that's been telling everybody about it. Oh my goodness. So many people will be coming in and saying, oh, I saw it on Sherry's show, I saw it here. Because it was good. I wouldn't have said it if it was not, if it was not. Fantasmo. Well, we will be up on Broadway for four months, so you better come and see it while you can, because if I'm not, we're leaving after that. Run to see the Wiz. All right, or skip, skip down the Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm. I know and we're green. And we're green, because we Yeah, were... Emerald City. You Emerald gotta show City. up in Emerald City. Put your yeah. green on. I was there, and I saw Stephanie Mills, and it brought so... It, I had to thank her, because I saw Miss Mills. She was phenomenal. I saw Stephanie Mills in the original production of The Wiz, and it inspired my acting dreams. Oh, so, wow. like, how special was it seeing Stephanie Mills? How special was it for you? Oh, it was especially a moment for me. I felt like I was fanning out, okay? Uh -huh. Because when I was a kid, you know, um, her, her version of Home that she did, she had as a single, and yes. it was playing all over the radio. I was singing it on the school bus every day. And um, my stepdad, he worked at the airport, and he got her autograph for me. Um, and brought it home when I was a little kid. Yes. And so to see her in person is like, wow, you I know? I know, and she was there looking so amazing. Mm -hmm. And this, I, I wanna say congratulations because I love a, a husband and wife team. You and your husband, Todd, y'all produced The Wiz together. Yeah. This, <laughs> and Todd is right here in the audience looking all good, <laughs> looking husbandly good. But congratulations because this marks your 10 year yes. anniversary yes. of yes. being married. Yes. Married. And I was at the wedding. I was there. You were. I was there when you got married. But mm -hmm. it's like, y'all haven't even celebrated your anniversary yet. What's going no. on? Well, because our anniversary and spring break for our two youngest kids always fall in the same week. <laughs> So we had to go down to Orlando and uh -huh. do the kids' spring break Stuff first. Yeah. yeah, we had so much fun. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I uh -huh. had more fun than they did. You did. <laughs> you, I oh. love going down to all you know all the amusement parks and yes. riding out the rides. That's what I like to do. I love it though, but I want to see y'all going like a little sexy honeymoon together. Is there somebody that you want to go together? We want to go back to Africa where we first met. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Cause you know we met on Housewives of Atlanta. He met. was behind the scenes though, in Africa, on the African trip. I can't remember that, what season that was. But he but was there? Todd he was there. And the, the guy that they had was supposed to be predicting our future, right. he was like, you, you gonna get married. And I was <laughs> like, no, I'm not. And he said, he's here right now. I was like, yeah, right. And Todd was actually there. And that's the man you behind married? Behind the scenes, yeah. Todd, do you miss the, um... <laughs> I wanna ask you. 
because she want to go back. Do you miss the rains down in Africa? You want to get on back there, Todd? What you want? Yeah, I'm ready to get on back. I'm ready to get on back. <laughs> It's so funny because because y'all are so busy all the time. I know that your daughter Riley, she had recently asked you about. I don't know what these tabloid rumors are coming up about, like breakup rumors. Can you please clear it up for us with you and Todd? Todd and I are not breaking up. We are going Thank you. very strong. I don't know who makes these rumors up and starts it on the blogs or whatever. But Todd and I are doing great. All right, yeah. I'm yeah. always y'all together. Yeah. We cast you out. I'm telling you know, you know, and it's funny because you were talking about that you met Todd on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah. And then you were, I saw you were on the red carpet for the Grammys and you announced that you were leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah. Is there a reason why you did it on the red carpet? You know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sure how I was gonna tell people at the time, right? Right. And um, but it was kind of like boiling inside of me. So um my friend, um, she asked me on the red carpet, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, girl, I'm not going back. Oh, <laughs> girl. And I just kinda it just it just kind of blurted it out. And right. even though I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it, I feel like that was the best way because mm -hmm. it was my way and it let me leave on my own terms. And it made it so I couldn't change my mind. Yeah, that's true, because you said it <laughs> out there in public. I, I put it out there, it's, it's, it's solid now. It's this, is what, this is what I'm doing. It's so funny because when I was at The Wiz, Andy Cohen was sitting behind me. Mm -hmm. And so how did he take the news? I mean, he was supporting you at The Wiz, yes. but how did he take the news that you were leaving? You were the OG of a Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> that is so funny that I was an OG. You, okay. <laughs> you are the original that was that is there. Well, I was from season two. From I was season 14 two? seasons straight, Four longest running housewife of any franchise. And at the, at the time when Andy called me, he was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, I guess I don't know how I feel about it either. Yeah. At first I was yeah. fine until he called. Until he said. And then he starts saying all these things about how he, what he was gonna miss and how much he loved you know, our relationship. And he had me kind of teary-eyed on the phone, to yeah. be honest. And then he spoke, spoke about it again on his radio show, which really touched my heart. And it made me feel like, wow, you know, um, I'm glad we have this relationship. And I didn't leave on a bad note. We, we no. still have that relationship. Like you said, he was there supporting. I still support him. We, I, I feel like we have a friendship and I'm it glad it's that way. Yeah. But it's like, we remember you from everything. Like, we remember everything that you went through. It's like we went through it with you. But I'm really glad because it's now, it's like all of these other opportunities are opening up their doors for you. One of the things I love you on is the shy. Okay, <laughs> you, <laughs> Rosalind on the shy. Ooh, yes. You, girl, you cold. You cold as ice. And so Luke James was here, like, I think last week, and he said that not everybody survives this season. And I, do I need to be worried about your character, Rosalind? <laughs> Please and, tell me no. Well, I'm not supposed to be telling you too much. Okay, now. but I just... But what I will say, you know, we don't play with Rosalind like that, okay? No. So we just gonna leave it at that. Okay. But he is right, though. Nobody's safe. Like... Really? Yes, like, okay, so normally to... I just go straight to my parts, right? Yeah, on the, but, at the table read. Yes. When you're reading the script. Yeah, when we're doing our table read. But, you know, I like to hear the whole script with everybody reading their parts at the right. table read. So when, as we were going through it, and I heard somebody get clipped, let okay. me just say that, I was like, <gasps> I was really? shocked. Really? Yes. Okay. I was like, no, how, what? Okay. Well, I just, it's not, a lot of mouth drop moments. Okay. Not just one, it's like it's a like few. More. Yes, it's some mouth drop moments in this season. Okay, well, not that I'm, I'm not, you know, happy over anybody getting clipped, but that means that it's openness for other people to come in. I'm from Chicago. Can you please call Lena Waithe and tell her it's my birthday and I want to come on the show? Would you please call Lena for me? I will, and you know, she's my birthday twin. So she's your birthday. We're all Team Taurus. Okay, we Team Taurus, so please talk yes. to your Taurian friend okay, and tell I her. I know what you said. Okay, so we, now I want to get to something that I'm so excited about. Okay. Xscape and SWV. <laughs> And SWV. Yes. When I tell you, we showed the trailer when y'all had the mock therapy session mm -hmm. announcing the queens of the R <laughs> of R and B tour. I thought that was genius. So like, we were heartbroken. Everybody, when you guys fell apart before. So yes. like, what was it like being in the same room with your colleagues? Well, you know what? 
That was the first day that we all spoke to each other since we fell out after the really? season, you know, the season that they showed of Escaping SWV on yes. Bravo last, last year. Yeah. We hadn't spoken since then. Mm -hmm. So the day that we filmed that was the first day that we had a sit down, a heart to heart, and we were able to hug and oh, I'm so glad. cry it out and, you know, talk, talk things through. And yeah. I got to show love to Mona because she really Mona was... Mona Scott. Mona Scott Young. Yeah. She was not like taking no for an answer. Okay. She kept coming back trying to bring us together for different things and we were like, yeah, yeah, uh, uh And then finally she was like, look, you know, this, I would love to bring y'all together for this tour. And we all said, uh, So okay. y'all, and you going on tour. You we going, going on tour, y'all. <laughs> Too, because it's gonna be, you know, similar to Versus in a way where it's our show, our music is gonna be intertwined. Oh, okay. So it's not just, you know, them doing their set, us doing our set. It's like, you know, we're going back and forth. Some songs we're, we're still figuring out. Hopefully we'll do a couple of songs together where yes. we're actually, yes. you know, backing each other up or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna be a show that you will never see again unless you see it that. Two powerhouses. Two yeah. powerhouses. Yeah. Candy, I just want to say it meant so much to me when I got your text yesterday because uh, I was a little down in the dumps, and that meant a lot to me when you said you'll always be there for me. Always. And I appreciate you, and I appreciate you because you are so busy, you and Todd, and you got the kids, and so I appreciate you setting aside everything and being a friend and being here for me. Oh, uh, I'm so thankful for you. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time.